In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a emo flicker effect in After Effects. Super, super cool flicker effect, and I'm not gonna lie, I want it to be a little bit more unique, so that's why I'm going to be making a flicker effect, but uh, a little bit more on the edgy emo kind of style to it. Uh, thought it was a unique touch to the whole flicker effect, so I'm excited to show you guys how to create it. And if you guys don't know, I just released my new pack called the Low Res Preset Pack. And it includes over 30 drag and drop low res presets. So you can get the low res look in literally seconds. So to check out the new pack, it's going to be linked down below. So you guys can easily go and check it out. Other than that, let's start with the tutorial. So here are an After Effects. And I'm using a music video from SD Kid here. Super, super cool. So what we're going to be starting off by doing is creating a adjustment layer. Press Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to be starting off by adding exposure to this. And I'm going to be starting off by keyframing the exposure. I'm going to drag it up a little bit. I'm going to go up to maximum around 3. I don't want it to be too bright, but something like this. Next frame, drag it down, something like that. Next frame, drag it up, just like that. Next one, drag it down. Next frame, drag it up. Next frame, drag it down. Like that. Now open the adjustment layer, effects, exposure, zoom in, master, and here you're going to be holding alt on your keyboard and then pressing the clock here. And now you will be getting the express section up here. And what I'm going to be doing is basically typing loop out and this one is going to pop up and you just double click here. So now your keyframes are going to be looping in the ones you have been creating. And this is basically just a heavy flicker effect, <laughs> like a flicker effect. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing now is basically adding some grain to this to make it a little bit more grungy, uh, edgy, emo kind of look basically. So we're going to be starting off by adding add grain to this. And here we're going to be changing the viewing mode from preview to final output. And we can increase the intensity a little bit here. Yeah, I think 10 is a good amount here. And then we can drag the add grain above the exposure so we get this look here after that i'm going to be adding hue and saturation and decrease the saturation i'm gonna set it to minus 50 and now when we play it's going to look something like this which already looks insanely good in my opinion and if you i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm satisfied already now but if you guys want to get this a little bit you know low quality touch to this uh, we're going to be adding mosaic for that and here dragging down the quality basically so we're going to be setting the Horizontal blocks to 400, then the vertical blocks to 400 as well. After that, add fast box blur, set the blur radius to 2. After that, unsharp mask, increase the amount, and then the radius. So around 200 amount there, then make it your pixels pop. And we get this kind of look here, insanely cool. We get a little bit uh, like kind of outstanding pixels, glitch kind of pixels on the side here, so how to fix that. Just add transform, uh, scale to 101 here, or maybe 102, to just get rid of those uh, edges there basically. And when we play it's gonna look something like this here, insanely cool. I mean absolutely incredible emo flicker effect here, looks super super good. And now if you guys did like the emo flicker effect, you guys are definitely going to be liking the low res preset pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. And the low res preset pack got this low resolution quality presets, which is to be honest kind of trending right now. A lot of people have been recreating it and uh, looks absolutely incredible. So how to use it is basically to make a new adjustment layer here. Go to animation presets, user presets, low res presets. We can make the emo flicker invisible. And then we can use a classic one, the 8-bit low res. So drag and drop. And the 8-bit low res is going to look something like this when we play it. Insanely, insanely cool. It really has this old video game kind of quality look here. Looks super, super good in my opinion. And then let's add one more, create a new adjustment layer. Here we can add the black and white low res camera, drag and drop. And now when we play it, we will be getting this look here. Super, super cool low res camera here. Absolutely incredible with the black and white touch here. I mean, absolutely incredible effect here, I'm not gonna lie with you guys. Let's try one more, make a new adjustment layer. And here we can drag and drop the PS2 low res. And now when we play it, we will be getting this super low quality PS2 
Uh, low res look here, absolutely incredible. I used to play on PS2, but uh, I don't know if this, the quality was this bad, but uh, <laughs> it looks absolutely incredible. So I'm super satisfied with the effects we have been creating in this tutorial here. The emo flicker effect and all of these crazy low res presets here. That's a part of the low res presets pack. They look absolutely incredible. So if you guys want to check out the low res presets pack and the all in one bundle. Because the low res presets pack is a part of the all in one bundle. It's going to be linked down below so you guys can easily go and check it out. Other than that I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.